All right, guys, I am back on the lake this morning. It's the first time I've fished and shoot. It's been at least two months. First time I've been on this lake in I don't know how long. So got a good buddy of mine out here, Ryan. He's going to join me on this trip, and we're going to drag some baits in some creek channels, see if we can catch some fish. It was, oh, shoot, I don't remember what it was, 25 degrees or something like that when we got out here. So it's a little brisk, but uh, hopefully the fish will bite. And, uh, We'll catch something so stick around and uh let's get started all right this morning's setup's pretty simple i've got two rods i'm gonna be throwing out with a carolina oh wow can't talk santee rig on there using some trophy cat kitty calls and some santee dragon weights i'm gonna be using crappy i've got a head piece and a little fillet piece so a little bigger bait a little smaller bait so we're gonna put them on just drag them along the bottom here oh my word that's some cold water Woo. Uh, point three to point five. I'll be going as slow as possible, really, until like it's as cold as it is, or unless the bite's really good or something. I gotta find my hummingbird maps so I can see this bottom better. There we go. Have you caught any blues or anything out of your kayak yet? Uh, no, just, uh, oh well, this could be fun. If we can find some fish, it'll be, you won't want to go back to Jordan Lake. <laughs> That's probably plenty. I do anywhere from 30 to 70 yards. It's kind of dependent. We will be getting up into some 50 foot water. So keep that in mind. The time has come to break out the Unigear heated gloves. It is officially cold enough to use these. I haven't been able to use them on a fishing trip since I got them because it's been warm and then I didn't fish for so long. But I believe they will come in handy today. There we go. Ooh. Can't even get my drift sock to open up good. It's so froze up. Look at all that bait right up there. Oh, missed him. That was a nice hit. There you go. There's one. There's the first fish, guys. <clears> they <throat> would bite as soon as I put that sabiki rod down. <laughs> Get that up out of the way. Get him in the boat. That'll get our skunk out, guys. And it'll be the first catfish I've caught in months.
Come on up here, Mr. Blue. Well, a lot of flipping down there. I don't think he's very big, but I'll take that. I'm in 36 feet of water right now. There he is. Yeah, pretty little blue. Pretty little blue. Oops, I got there we go. That. All right, there's our first fish for the day, y'all. Skunk's out. We'll get him back and uh, throw him bait back out. That came on a piece of fillet. All right, there we go. All right, guys, we're going to pull up and jump over to another spot. This has been extremely slow since that first fish. But before I do that, I want to give a quick uh, update on these gloves. This, since it's the first time I've get, gotten to use them, I'm impressed. They're doing pretty good. Uh, I took my hand out a while ago, and I realized just how cold it is out there. And if anybody from Unigear is listening, uh, I need some feet warmers. So if that's something that y'all are looking at coming out with, uh, Need something to go on these boots to keep my toes cold because my fingers feel great, but my toes don't. So just an idea for y'all, but I'm gonna get these rods pulled in, pull the drift sock in, and we're gonna shoot up to another creek. So sit, sit tight, and we'll be back to fishing in just a little bit. I'm dragging something on the bottom. I am dragging something on the bottom. I have no idea. There's something on there. I don't know if I've got a fish or if I'm just dragging some trash along. Hopefully I haven't got myself hung up in my own line. Caught a stick fish. Yay. That's a giant. I'm gonna pose with a picture. Catch and release. called a snag fish. Did you bring yourself some lunch? I got some snacks. Okay. I'll say once we get to the back of that creek back there, it ought to be right at lunchtime. I was up on baiting with a buddy of mine one time and we I mean we covered some water. We we fished creeks. We went up the lake, down the lake. Um I think I used two batteries worth. Like we we covered a ton of water, and 
I finally there at the end of the day, I said, I'm going to go back up in this creek right here. He was like, no, nope, I'm staying deep. I said, oh, well, we'll see who can. He caught it in that catching couple, but I went all the way to the back, like literally back of the creek was like from me to that little mess of trees right there. And they were just a pile of fish back in there. And I mean, it's just that one little stretch, but I caught a whole mess of fish. So you, you never know. It makes me want to put it on auto autopilot and go to sleep though. Sitting right here, it's just, I'm getting warm now and it's comfortable out here. Not to jinx it, but it's so bad back here right now. Even the hangups ain't biting. Usually you get hung, a, I don't know, three or four times at least coming through. I mean, it's some snaggy stuff that I ain't gotten hung up. They ain't nothing want to bite my stuff. Hey, 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 right there, right there. You got one, man. All right, Ryan has got a fish on, y'all. Fish on. I need a camera with a little bit more zoom so I can see what's happening. Try to ease over there towards you a little bit. A little bit more fun than a channel cat, ain't it? Heck yeah. Oh yeah, see a blue head. <laughs> Slide over there and it's not gonna be great footage, but we'll get a little bit. Well, I'm glad that at least you can't go back and say you went fishing with Austin and he took you on a skunk trip. He wasn't going nowhere, was he? What kind of hook you got in there? All right. There he is. The skunk is out. You want me to get my phone and get a little bit better picture? Yeah, if you don't mind. Yep. And boom. Cool. Yep, we're good. I'm about to catch you. I think I can slide it right back over your line. Oh, no, that's my fault. We're good. All right. Change of plan. I skipped the eating lunch part. I didn't figure anybody wanted to watch me eat another MRE. But we've actually moved back to the creek that we started in because where we were at a while ago, it was crap. We, uh, as you saw, Ryan just caught a blue and then I caught one earlier, but other than that, wasn't marking anything out there. So we're back to where we started because we did mark some fish over here. So fingers crossed, we'll get on a few more. So get these baits thrown out and uh, let's start fishing. Oh, there's a fish. I thought I was hung again. All right. Ain't big because he's rolling around down there doing the little flipperoos that those small blues do. But it's still a fish if I can get them in. Swimming to me. Well, that was nice of them. Made my life a lot easier. I'm in seven. Actually, he came out of like 13 feet of water because I'm going back down. That was the shallow part that I went across. There he comes. A little better than the last. 
Ah, cool. Get him to quit being aggravating. Pretty fish, though. All right, back he goes. And he's gone. Oh, there's a fish, guys. There's a fish. Let's see if we can get this one to stay up. Feels about like the one that I pulled off a while ago. If we're in 38 feet of water, yep, another old little dinky dink blue. I'm careful, I might get my headpiece back. That ain't a blue. That's a channel cat. That's an old blasted channel cat. The good news is we got the headpiece back. There he is, guys. A little dinky channel. <laughs> Back you go. Oh, oh, oh. That's a good takedown, guys. That's a good takedown. That's the best takedown I've had today. gonna be no giant but it's a it's a good much better feeling fish than what I've been fighting that was on I think that's on the headpiece A little bit better than I thought. He didn't want to come up off the bottom. I was going to try to get some other footage of him, but I think I'm just going to focus on trying to get this fish up. This is fun. I haven't gotten to have a fight like this in a while. Well, he's not as big as I thought, but he's run through my other line, which makes things a little bit more complicated. <laughs> That's why he felt so much bigger than he was. <laughs> oh, I've got him in both lines. Trying to see if I could get him to flip out of my other line. <clears throat> But I don't know if I can or not. There we go. We got the other line now. All right, guys. I'm not mad that I caught a fish, but I'm kind of mad that he fooled me because <laughs> he felt felt three times as big as he was. Oh well, I'm still thankful I got him. Alrighty. Let's take a look at him, y'all. 
There we go. Straighten out. Another pretty fish. Trying to get him to straighten his little tail out for you. Straighten your tail out, bud. There you go. He's trying to. All right. We'll get a picture and then uh, we'll get him back in the water. Back. You go, bud. Take down, guys. That was a nice takedown. I got a little bit of a mess here. Oh, man. Get this sabiki rod out of the way. Okay. Hopefully, that camera there is recording. <laughs> uh, I mean, that joker nailed it. I don't think he's really that big, but the way he hammered it, you thought he was a monster. <laughs> All right. Spin him on around here. <laughs> Uh, I was pulling the bait off the sabiki rig and I was about to pull these in. And then boom. Yeah, he's flipping like crazy down there. He ain't a big fish at all, but if we can get him in here, I'll be very excited to catch another fish. Hey, another pretty blue, y'all. Another pretty blue. There he is. Un untangle. He was all wrapped up. There we go. Alright guys. This is gonna be the last fish for the night. It's a pretty fish. I'm tickled to death to have caught him. All right. About to go across all my line. All right, there we go. All right, I'm gonna get him back in the water and we'll pack it on up, head to the house. And he's gone. All right, guys, that is gonna do it for this trip. It was not what I was hoping it was gonna be, but we did catch some fish and we got Ryan on YouTube this time. So got him landing a nice blue, but Appreciate all you guys sticking around. If you have questions, leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, do me a favor, hit the like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you're on social media, check out Rock Bottom Cats on Instagram and Facebook. And if you're looking for a catfishing page to join, check out NC Catfishing on Facebook. We're at over 19,000 members on there. A lot of great folks, a lot of great information. So make sure you check that out if you haven't done so, done so already. Once again, I appreciate all you guys sticking around, and I'll catch you in the next one.